All right, guys, I'm gonna do a little midday catfish trip here. I gotta get some bait. I don't have much left in my tank. Got a couple of white perch. I'm gonna try to catch some more. Some, try to catch some brim too. I got some uh, red worms and a rod baited up. I'll show you how I catch those things. I might try to catch a flathead. I don't. We'll see. Let's see what the water's doing. We had a bunch of rain last night or yesterday, and uh, things are be interesting. I'm on a lake that I haven't fished. It's my home lake. It's just down the road, but I haven't fished it in probably a month for catfish. So anyway, I'll show you a trick here. See my Yeti cooler. I always tell people, pre-chill your cooler before you put ice in it if you want to keep ice around. So what I have are some frozen water bottles. I put those in there first to get the cooler cold. Because if you know anything about insulation, the better something is insulated, it will keep things hot and it will keep things cold. It just depends on, you're basically insulation is separating two temperatures, differences. So the best thing you can do is chill it first And then dump your ice in. You get a uh, lot more ice retention that way. So, little tip. Anyway, gonna go uh, try loading up with some brim. I need some for the tank here at home. And uh, see if we can get on some catfish. All right, guys. First order of business. Gonna make a little bait run. We're gonna go up here. See if we can put some brim in the boat. It's springtime. Water's almost 70 degrees, so it's prime time to be fishing with brim. Right there's what I'm looking for. A bank with a little bit of shade and some blowed down trees. All right, guys. This ain't rocket science. Uh, but I also realized that a lot of people may not know how to do this. So I do a very simple rig. There's all kinds of ways you can do this with different bobber slip course and all that. Here's what I got. Little bitty Gamagatsu Octopus Surf Plug. I think it's a number eight. Got a piece of monofilament leader. About 12 pounds, something like that. Then I tie a blood knot tie it to my main line and I'm fishing with 20 pound braid. Then uh, I got a bobber which just clips on. So I just adjust it to whatever depth I find the fish at. So it's that simple. Um, you can use slip cords. Sometimes they're easier to cast. A little slip knot. Uh, make sure you have to do one of those another day. But this is nice and easy. This is uh, dummy proof which is what I need. And uh, I'm using the bait. is a red worm. I'll show you what that looks like. Take a red worm like that. I pinch off a piece of it. It's about that big. Fairly small. And I try to thread this on here like it would be a soft plastic. Something like that. That's all I'm fishing with. I don't know how much you can see here with this wide angle lens, but anytime you get around a bunch of these blow downs and trees, overhanging limbs, this can be a primo place for bluegill to be laid up in here. There we go better size one. That's what you like to have right there is a tank full of that size. These are hard to grab to show you. Man, got another one. Right off the tree limb over there. This is slow brim fishing. Slow. I can at least get it. picking off a few. Hard to come by today. Hard to come by. Alright guys, made a run up the river. Uh, they're pulling some water. So uh, I'm going to anchor up here on a ledge. It's got some fish on it. We'll see if anybody's hungry. Alright, let me explain to y'all what I mean when I say they're pulling water today. Uh, if you fish on a reservoir, a lake, for blue catfish or flatheads in the United States, 99% of those lakes are man-made. There are very few places that are natural lakes that have these fish. So what that means is, 50, 100 years ago, they put a dam on a river and created a lake, a reservoir. Uh, it was done for energy production. Uh, 
what happens is they periodically release water through the dam. And that's either for flood control or for power generation. And what that does is it creates current. And that current stimulates fish. Uh, it can turn a bite, a bad bite good real quickly. It also spreads scent. It's a great way uh, to carry the scent through the water column. So you can anchor up and put out cut baits and that scent be carried hundreds of yards downstream and those fish move into located. So that's what we mean when we say they're pulling water today. Now you guys that fish rivers, you got current pretty much all the time. Uh, we don't have that here. It's, uh, it's kind of an on and off thing. And because of that, it's fished differently than the guys who have constant current. So uh, these uh, reservoirs, when they turn on the water, start releasing water, it can spark a bite in a hurry. So uh, we get kind of excited when it happens. Uh, right now, a lot of it's happening in the afternoon. It's starting to warm up, get some 80 degree days. They release water more now in the afternoon because air conditioning comes on. There's a peak demand then. So uh, boat wake here. And the other reason we get a lot of water moving right now is uh, flood control. Uh, we had some heavy rains yesterday, day before, and then uh, there's some more heavy rains they're expecting tomorrow. So a lot of this is just getting the lake levels back to a manageable, controllable level. So that's why it happens. And that's what I mean when I say they're pulling water. It's a little different than you guys that have current all the time. And bam, hooked up. sitting there contemplating what my next move was. Saw a rod slowly fold over like a blue bite. Maybe I'll sit here a little longer. Nice. Alright guys, been anchored up here for a little over an hour. Um, we got those two fish. Uh, no complaints with the fish that we got. It's a good fish, but uh, it's slow. The water looks like it's moving. Uh, wind's laid down a little bit, and we got some current. I see some muddy water coming down. So I want to go that way. Say that's the rotten end of a small fish, but then it got on top of the water. It blew up. This might be a good fish. I just seen him come to the top. Feels heavy. Feels heavy. This is what a 30 pound female slobber knocker blue cat looks like. Good looking fish. Nice. A good fish. It's a very good fish. That one feels bigger than the last one. Oh, he's taking off. This could be a flathead. Swim out a long way away from the boat. It's a good fish. Very good fish. I'll let you see me net him. I've got the camera mounted right next to the boat. He'll go at least 10 pounds. Alright guys, here he is, 45 pounds, big, big springtime flathead, look at that mouth, beautiful fish, 
guess what? He ain't going in no pay lake. He's going back to life.